Okay, um, <clears throat> gonna read a uh, book of Judges, chapter two, verse ten through twenty-three. Yeah, I'll just stick with that. All right, verse ten, uh, this is Judges, chapter two, verse ten, and also all that generation that were gathered unto their fathers, and there arose another generation after them, which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which He had done for Israel. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Baalim. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods and the gods of other people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtaroth. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about, so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Whither so they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil, as the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Actually, I can uh, stop there. Well, there arose another generation after them who knew not the Lord, you know. And, um, you know, with taking all the, you know, the, the things that I grew up with and people be, from generations before me grew up with, you know, Pledge of Allegiance, prayer in school, you know, or having the option to do so if you didn't want to, fine. Um, but now all this that has been taken away. And now you have a generation that's basically, you know, not the entire generation, but enough that's focused only on consumer items, you know, only, you know, only what the eye can see and what the hand can touch, you know, the, the five senses. And that's it, you know, as if there's no such thing as a soul or a spirit or anything other than what you see here. And, um, you know, when you have that kind of uh, disbelief, then it's easy to harm others. It's easy to bully someone until they commit suicide. It's easier to commit suicide. Um, you know, it's easier to, to plant other things in a person's mind because they don't, necessarily believe that there's anything like if mankind can't fix it then it's unfixable and so now you have all these people you know trying to solve problems of the world that that's just not meant you know that's impossible for mankind to solve because mankind caused it okay and um <clears throat> i'll go over further and it said uh uh, verse 20, this is chapter 2 of Judges, verse 20, said, And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he said, Because that this people hath transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, I will also, I also will not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations, which Joshua left when he died, that through them I may prove Israel whether they will keep the way of the Lord to walk therein as their fathers did keep it or not. Therefore the Lord left those nations without driving them out hastily, neither delivered he them into the hand of Joshua. You know? So you think about all the undesirable uh, elements of our society, and you know, and it's just like, you know, why you know, why aren't they just, you know, why gotta let these people live? You know, why seem the good die young and these people do all these things, they just seem to live long and do all these things. Well, as it was in the book of Joshua, so it is today. Okay? These things are to prove us, all right. So for all the aspiring gangsters and thugs, y'all want to come up, y'all want to mimic this. It's not there for you to want to, to, to mimic and take after. Yes, it is. It, it's, it's, uh, it's tempting. You know, the money looks good, all the women, the cars, and all that stuff, and the jewelry. But, you know, these people got to look over their shoulder every day. You know, you know, uh, you know a, a rich man's wealth will not suffer him to sleep. You know what I mean? And so they're gaining all these things, but you don't see the flip side of it, okay, that they have to look over their shoulders. They can't trust anybody, all right? They lose themselves because they become addicted to money itself, all right? And so these things are to show you what not to do, okay? Just like all these, you know, these people, he no longer took the people from uh, Israel. He said, no, I'm going to leave these undesirables in there just to prove them to see who they're going to worship, you know? And so let's not blame God for the things that happen or for the people that exist that do wrong in society, you know? Don't blame them. Know them more. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, in ver chapter 3 uh, of uh, uh, Joshua, you know, it said, Now these are the nations which the Lord left to prove Israel by them, even as many of Israel as had not known all the wars of Canaan. 
You know, now anybody who's been reading, you know, Israel been having some wars. They've been fighting for a long time. All right. And it said, only that the generations of the children of Israel might know to teach them war. At the least such as before knew nothing thereof. Namely, the fire laws of the Philistines and all the Canaanites, Sidonians, Hivites that dwelt in Lebanon and Baal-Hamon and the entering unto Hamath. And they were to prove Israel by them to know whether they would hearken unto the commandments of the Lord, which he commanded their fathers by the hand of Moses. Okay. And then it says further on, they took daughters to be their wives of these different ones and served other gods and did even in the sight of the Lord and, you know, served at their groves and Baalim and all those things. Well, that's what's happening in our communities all across America. Okay. Uh, you know, the, the, these murderers, everybody, you know, they want to be hard asses and, you know, be gangsters and all these things. You know, that lifestyle was put in front of you to teach you what not to do. Okay, and he said that he wants them to know to teach them more, to prove them. Okay, and so the struggles that we go through, the struggles that we go through in our community, we go through life are to prove us, to bring us closer to that, to bring us, you know, not closer to the wrong thing to do, but closer to the right thing to do. All right, and I mean, survival is a trip. You know, I will never try to cast stones at anybody, you know. You know, like I said, everybody got dirt under their fingernails. You know what I'm saying? Some people may do things they're not necessarily proud of, you know, to feed their kids, to do, you know, to, to, to you know, maintain a mortgage or whatever it is, you know, just basis of Bible things. All right? Well, that's why those kind of things were condemned to the flesh, so they can't be forgiven. But the reason why it is, is because we're being proved, you know? Will you seek God more as, as as things get worse, or will your heart harden and you go off to serve other things because you feel abandoned by Him? You know. And I got another video. Uh, it's called you know Where's God when you need Him that explains where God is when you need Him. You know. And so uh, you know I, I encourage anybody to check out that video. But this is what it is, especially to those who are coming up and you see the fast life and it looks good. Okay. Just like these uh, certain, you know, these people, these snares until Israel wasn't moved to moved out the way to prove Israel to see if they're going to want. I mean, and then on a more personal note, it happened to Job, okay? You know, and, you know, anybody know the story of Job, you know, he got jacked up, but he still stayed true, you know? And so that's what these things are for. It's not for us to follow the bad examples. It's to do the opposite of them, okay? And uh, that's it. I mean, it's just being proved. That's it.